Om Shanti. <clears throat> Today is your 66th day of your blessing day. A blessing which reminds us about how to be in constant connection and an easy connection with God. Some of us, we remember God whenever we want something in life, whenever we have something scarce in our life, or we have something falling short in our life and we try to remember God just to get that thing fulfilled in our life. But God says that is not just the reason for you to remember me. I am the one who gives you liberation in life from all the different forms of attachments which actually give you sadness, unhappiness. So how long should we remember him? How much should we remember him? And on what basis should we remember him? What is our relationship with him? We are going to explore these different areas in today's Vardhan as God explains in very subtle manner the different areas of meditation. So let's go ahead and understand what Baba has to say. Baba says, may you be perfect in every subject. Now we in Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University have got four subjects. The first subject is knowledge about who am I, where have I come from. Second subject is remembrance or meditation where we take power from God. We take love, happiness, peace, power, happiness, everything we take from God so that we don't look for it outside in this world because in this world to get all these things is not a constant. So even if you might get love from your friend or your relative or your spouse, but it's not going to be constant. Because God is an ocean and none of the human beings are an ocean right now. Some of us are, we are trying to become like God, Father and ocean. But not all of us are. So then God says you have knowledge, you have meditation or yoga. Then you have dharna. Dharna means imbibing the knowledge. Turning your weaknesses and changing them to strengths is dharna. And then seva, to serve others, helping others to become the same as how God wants us to become. So becoming an example and a sample in front of the world. So that is what this whole university is all about. So in this, one of the subjects is yoga or meditation. or That is connection between I the soul and the supreme soul. So Baba says, may you be perfect in every subject and make easy yoga, easy meditation, natural your nature. It should become natural in my nature. So explanation goes like this. Just as you are the father's children, aren't we all? And there is no percentages in that. That means it's not that I am the 10th percentage loved by God. God loves me equally. God loves everybody equally. But some children listen to their parents. Some children don't listen to their parents. So which kind of child am I? That's what decides my relationship with my father. From father's side, he loves me. But my relationship with him decides the percentage of love I take from him or get from him. So Baba says, there is no percentage in that. In the same way, let all percentage of yoga finish in your stage. So percentage of remembrance or meditation, it should finish in my stage of a constant and easy yogi. I should become a constant and easy yogi and all this percentage should just finish off. Let it become natural and your nature. Some people have a particular nature and they continue to move along according to that nature, right? We have seen some people, they have a nature to get up early in the morning. Some people have a nature of helping others, right? Some people have a nature of getting scared of even with a little bit of noise, right? So it's their reaction to certain situations and people around them. So it's become a nature for people to panic. It's become a nature for people to be helpful and kind and generous. So that's a nature, they say. It's my nature. In the same way, let this also become your nature. What is that nature? That I can easily be in connection with God the Father throughout the day. I don't need to sit down in a place. I can be moving around, walking on the road, be in a congested area, be in an area where there are a lot of people, but I'm still in connection with God by remembering who am I, which we learn at Brahma Kumaris. What can I do? How can I have yoga? Finish all of those things. These questions should finish. It's like when a lover remembers his love. He doesn't have to think, how can I remember that person? How can I remember my spouse? How can I remember my wife or my husband? They have love for each other and they automatically remember. Similarly over here, how much love do we have for God the Father? Decides the level 
of ease of our meditation or yoga. So Baba says, finish all of those things and you will become perfect in every subject. So once you have good meditation, automatically the other subjects like like the knowledge, the dharna or imbibing the knowledge and the fourth thing which is serving others becomes easy when yoga becomes easy for you. So every other subject will become perfect. Perfect means to be free from effect and defect. Like a diamond which is perfect doesn't have any kind of defect and it doesn't get affected by anything else because it's just perfect, it's safe. So here too, we should not think about any kind of defects in us. Oh, I get angry. How can I have uh, connection with Baba? Oh, I get irritated. How can I have connection with Baba? I have a lot of I have a lot of irritation or jealousy in me. How will I get connected with Baba? No. Those things Baba says, you offer it to me. That's what meditation is all about. You offer those things to me and I will help you to overcome those things. You just need to offer those things to me. That means you just remember me. We don't need to take the stress of it and tension of it. So with this beautiful... Vardhan, I leave you. Contemplate about it, think about it and do go ahead and learn the free meditation at Brahma Kumari's university next door to you or nearby in your street, in your city. With this, Om Shanti. Mm-hmm.